think as a Madrid fan, I was very frustrated when Vinicius didn't win. And my frustration, I haven't spoke to, to, to you about it and also some of my friends, is that I am so used to when push comes to shove, when the Bando rankings, the criteria, when it's tight decisions like Messi and Lewandowski 2000 and when, when did um, 2000, uh, 2020, 2021, when Lewandowski had an amazing season, uh, uh, Messi didn't have such an amazing season, but he won Copa. And we were like, yo, it's Messi. You know what I'm saying? It's Messi. Like, you know, he's the best. And you're like, at the time, you can't fight it. Like, Lewandowski is amazing. You can't fight it. Haaland situation. You're like, ah, but it's Messi, right? And even in, and even in Ronaldo, Ronaldo and, um, what you call it, Ribéry. I forgot what season was that. Was that 2014? Yeah, I think 2013, 2014, somewhere there. Yeah, it might have been 2013, yeah. But when Ribéry had an amazing season, but we gave it to Ronaldo because, like, we like, yo, Ribéry, one of these other things, but clearly the best player in the world is that guy. And clearly for me, when we're watching football, it's like, Vinicius Jr. is the best. Like, he he is the best player. He's the one with the most va va -voom. He's the one who pulled Real Madrid. Yes, Drew Bellingham held us down for, for, for a minute. And, and for a while, but when push comes up for the most part, I feel like the whole commu football community felt like, yo, this man, Vinicius, is the best player in the world. So when in that in the Ballon d'Or, I'm just used to like the Ballon d'Or giving it to the best player. But when I calmed down and when I thought about it, I'm like, okay, Rodri does deserve it. I, I feel like people are overreacting, like they treat Rodri like he's not him and he's not, wasn't a pivotal player in the whole uh, Man City team and, and that whole run and he's a CDM scoring goals even though you're not technically playing CDM when they're in position but like I, I, I when when I came down to reality I was like oh, okay cool I get it why they give it one. it's just I'm used to the Ballon d'Or when it's tight like that it usually just goes to like the player with the biggest ba -ba -voom. and the, for me that's the all. more flair right yeah the more flair the more 